How many of you have seen something like this before? This guy is building motorcycles from scratch and he's doing it with condemned iron. And he believes that he can make up to 100 million naira from it if he gets an investor. As you can see guys, here is uh, the, the open and here is the lock and here is to start and here is the alarm as you can see and then here is to open and guys here if you double click this button is gonna start as you can see it just start like that guys and uh, here is also to off as you can see the last motorcycle he did he sold it for 300,000 naira and he's doing this all by himself this is happening live in Benway State Nigeria Hi, my name is Johnson Luben Noah and I build bikes from scratch to finish. I build it with condemned iron and people love it. And I do it all by myself. And if I can get an investor, we can do better than this. I can't believe you are using condemned irons to make these kinds of bike. How did this all start? Okay, you see, it start when I'm I'm a mechanic, a motorcycle mechanic. So uh, I start customizing bike for people. People will buy an uh, an bike, and then they will come to me that hey, I don't like this design. Use this bike and do it and design it your own way. God, they see how I do my own. So I say okay, I start doing it for people. People will start patronizing me. I say okay, so that inspires me. Because uh, they are buying it from the original stand and they're now coming to me. Let, let me change it to my own design because they prefer my design more than the original design. So I say, okay, let me just, since I know the component, I know how bikes work because I'm being a mechanic for a very long time. So I say, okay, let me now uh, start my own thing uh, like that. So I start uh, 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 buying, I start going to the uh, scrap yard where they say iron condemned. Then I will now buy my pipe because the scrap yard have the best iron, the best material, the, the very thick uh, materials. So I will go there and buy my pipe. pipe is so from good. there, I start uh, uh, doing my research and then bringing up my bike. So that's, uh, the, it came to a first time I say, okay, let me invent a bike that is, I've, n I've never seen or is, I've never been there before. So I say, okay. I buy those pipes the first time I came it and designed that first bike. It looks like bicycle. It was not bicycle, but it, it looks like bicycle. It, it was a motorcycle. That uh, when I built this bike, I was just playing with it for the first time. So when I built the bike and I ride it out there, I got like hundred persons that came to look the bike. Some were saying, "No, this bike is not made by Nigeria. This bike is a foreign bike." Uh, where, who, where do you get it? I say, no, this is made by me. They will not believe me. Some will argue on tea. I bring up my video tutorial because I'm a YouTuber too. I do YouTube video. Uh, you can check Lubem. You can see my video there. So they, uh, they will now say, okay, they will deny on tea. I show them proof before they will believe me. So that inspires me that I'm special. What I'm doing is nice. For people don't even believe that this thing is made in Nigeria. Why? I'm the one that's building it. So from there, I, start, I, I bring up my mind in it. Then I start doing it like that. But back then, I used to go to a people shop that have a wedding machine because I don't have my wedding machines as I'm doing right now in my house here. So I would go to people shop and buy the iron. Even though they are scrap, you have to pay before they will give. They will not just dash with them. So I would go to the scrap yard and buy the irons, and then I will bring it to a people workshop. They will charge me a lot. So when I done the bike, I will not even make profit. Because I just like doing it because I was paying to the, those workshops already. They were taking my money because I'm not the, the owner of the shop. So I say, okay. But the small profit I were making it, I start buying up my materials a little bit. I start, I start with uh, just filing machine and drilling machine. That, that was my first uh, equipment that I bought. That I start doing my bike. So I start my, uh, my, my custom bike like that. Then when time goes and people were buying that bicycle thing, I start thinking, let me uh, do some research and bring another design. From there, I say, okay, there was a bike I see on the internet that looked different. Then I do some research like two to two weeks without, uh, I went in that research for like two to two weeks. Then I come up with that idea and then I call that bike a cave racer. A what? A cave, cave racer. 
then uh it looked like power bike it was not a normal bike i built that very one too and it turned up night even though when i don't doing this thing even me myself i will look at this bike and i will say i will ask myself am i the one that built this bike they will look very nice just like foreign bikes you will not even know that this bike is made by nigeria so it inspired me the more and people one best thing a lot people were buying it imagine building your team from from scratch to finish and people love it and people were buying that will motivate you um, you are doing all this from your backyard yeah from my house this is where I, this is my workshop this with limited materials yes with local equipment so with those those local equipment to what i can do the only thing some idea that you will have but bringing them out it will be very difficult it will take you time you will do a lot of thinking because you don't have the equipment even though you know what to do but how you will bend the iron you don't have the the, like the hydraulic bending machines those machines were not there so you have to think so that you will do it manually so that will take you uh, a lot of time and a lot of thinking but with that too i'm still doing it as you can see i'm still doing it here okay the first bike you built from scratch how much did you sell it okay that very first one that i built from scratch uh, i sell it a hundred and fifty thousand that very first one uh, Wow, so the last one you sold, you said 300,000. Yes, the last one I built, I sell it at uh, 300,000. So there's a demand in this market for local bikes? Yes, people are buying it. When when they see like when they see me like this, and I say I can build it for you, some people, will, will, when they see my bike, they will believe, and they will even come to buy it. But when they come see me local, I say, ah, this is you. Are you sure you want to build this thing? No, go and build it first. Let me come and buy. They will not believe me until they say I should go and build it. Then when they see it, they will buy. If not giving me the money, they will not believe that I can do such a thing until I go and bring it for them first. Uh, How much is a new bike? That's a foreign bike. Okay, like the foreign bike, like my KF racer, like I that the one that look like my KF racer, the foreign one is six hundred thousand. Well, yours is cheaper. My my, my is two fifty three hundred. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Yes, two hundred and fifty thousand and some i they have different qualities i can give you one for 250 one for 300 and my are very stronger very stronger than those original like people are already buying it now and they also call you to customize bikes yeah they call like this very one you are seeing here i got it from a customer that he sees me online he don't even know me i don't even know him he sees my bike and then online he sees someone riding it then he asks and then that man give him my number that hey buy this thing from benway state then he uh, he called me and we talk i say okay this is how much i will customize a custom bike for you and then he now send me money that's why i'm doing this one for him so this one is a custom bike this is really really impressive i mean going to the will i call it a dust bin or a scrapier to get condemned iron and then bringing them together in his backyard he's making bike and making a business out of it do you think it is possible for this young man to actually turn this into a good business? I mean, like getting investors to help him to build a sustainable business from this. Do you think it is possible? If you think it is possible, please let me know in the comment section because this guy is doing so well for himself. I mean, look at this bike. They look so, so good. What do you think is missing right now in your life? Where do you see yourself in five years? From the point where you are right now, do you think it is possible? for you to make something reasonable out of it with the way your life is right now if you don't have an investor do you think it would be possible yeah you see i've been doing it myself just that my life i'm a never give up person what i'm doing i may never give up you can see by yourself you see my house this is my house this is where i live this place is you can see it's very local but if you go to my machineries that i use work there all the profit all my money sometimes i even have problem with my wife because all the money I have, I use them to buy the materials, the, uh, my, my working tools. Because I know that one day, this, work, this, this thing that I'm doing here, I will be, and, uh, I will be uh, I will have my own company that I will start building motorcycle. Like for me now, I talk, I'm a CEO of, that I have my own company. I've been, that is, this is my company. I thought I've started already. And I believe in myself that one day I will make it, even though I'm get, doing it, I'm starting from scratch. It's been difficult, but I believe in myself. Well, if you have an investor, it will make things fast for you, right? It will be very, very fast for me. Very fast. Okay. Uh, right now, if you had to produce one bike, how long will it take you? With the kinds of equipment you have right now? Like, the, the, with the local equipment I have now, if I want to customize bike for you, say, if, if it's a custom bike, it will take me two weeks. But if it's from scratch... You did from scratch? From scratch to finish, it will take me a month. For this thing, uh, the materials are not there, so you have to do a lot of thinking. 
if you have all these materials and you also have workers, people who will be assisting with labor, how many bags do you think we'll be able to make in a month from scratch? Like the research I do, I can make like 20 bikes from a, from, from a day. You mean in 24 hours you can produce 20 bikes? Sorry, his phone was ringing actually. You mean in 24 hours you and your workers can make 20 motorcycles from scratch if you had all the equipment you need? Yeah, if I have all the equipment you need, in 24 hours I, will, I can produce 20 bikes. 20 bikes. But with this material, we can do it a month. But if I have the equipment, all the equipment with my workers, we can do it. Twenty, we can make twenty bikes per day. How much do you think it will cost to actually get all this equipment that will make it fast for you to produce twenty bikes in a day? Like with those equipment, will be a lot of money, oh, like up to three hundred million. Wow! I think this man knows his onions. He knows his stuff. Well, so I really don't know how we can help this young man. I mean, I mean, I'm traveling around the states of Nigeria, reaching out to underrepresented people and seeing how we can help them tell their story to the world. And in return, they can also get help because we shouldn't leave someone like this behind. We should tell people about him. There are investors out there looking for promising Nigerians that they can invest in, people that they can actually mentor, train in a way that they will be able to take their talents, their skills, their knowledge, their proficiency to the global market. So guys, what do you think about this young man? Do you think he's going to succeed with the talents like this and in a time like this in Nigeria? What do you have to say about this? Let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, what is your appeal to Nigerians and to people watching you? What do you have to tell them? Okay, for my fellow good Nigerian out there, this is my talent and this is what I do. You can patronize me and uh, support me. If you can be, if you, if you are an investor out there, you can come and invest in me. Believe in me, because you can see with the local equipment, you can see bikes that I can build. So if we have the equipment, what by what kind of bikes can we build? We can do better, better than this. How? We, this can be a benefit to Nigeria. This can help the community with what I'm doing. So patronize me. All right. Would you like to call your phone number so people reach out to you? Yes. My phone number is 70 Okay. Is it on WhatsApp? Yes. That's my WhatsApp number. All right. No problem. So I'm wishing you success. So in case you get to the top, remember also. Eh? All right. No problem. Let's say bye to the viewers. Yes. Bye -bye. bye bye so if you have a story you want me to cover i'm traveling the states of nigeria looking for underrepresented people to tell their stories to the world kindly send me an email or hit me on lucky udu's foundation whatsapp if you want to learn how to make videos like me go to www.luckyuduacademy.com i'm gonna teach you how to, i make my videos how i did it and how to go viral on social media thanks for watching let's say bye to the viewers bye bye